Can I have your attention? So let me welcome you Recording in progress. to the eighth edition of the Ramsar Wetland Conservation Awards. I'll be not your host tonight, but I'll be guiding you through the awards uh, ceremony. The Ramsar Wetland Conservation Awards were established by resolution in 1996. They recognize and honor the contributions of individuals, organizations, governments around the world promoting the conservation and wise use of wetlands. For this eighth edition, four awards will be presented to, our, to four worthy individuals, all of whom are here with us this evening. You'll have a chance to see and hear their stories with four videos that we'll be showing before we present each of the award winners. Since 1999, the recipients of the Ramsar Wetland Conservation Awards have each received the Yavion Special Prize of US $10,000 granted by the Danone Group. And I'd like to thank Danone for their long-standing support of the convention and the Ramsar Wetland Conservation Awards. Let me now invite onto the stage Henry Bruxelles, Chief Sustainability and Strategic Business Development Officer of Danone. Henry? Good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually a pleasure and a privilege to be with you and to open the Ramsar and Avian Special Award Ceremony. Maybe some words. Many authors, many people have written on the role of water in human life, in human geopolitics, in culture. And we all know water is at the heart of our life ecosystems, of our human, human culture, and of the space we are living in. So we all know that water is much more than a resource. It's life. And we all know that wetlands play a critical role in this life, and by the way, in human survival. In a way, the way we, when sometimes we explain at Danone, what are wetlands? We say wetlands are the sanctuary of water, the essential place of biodiversity, playing, playing a critical role in water security. And at a time where we realize as human of our impact on the planet, and but we also realize that we don't have the right awareness of the value of water, and how much wetlands has challenged, I truly believe wetlands have a critical role to play in the future of humanity, and especially in the climate change uh, action and in the climate change adaptation. Today, I feel therefore very honored standing in front of uh, so many pioneers and change makers who are innovating every day to reverse the trajectory on wetlands. Because we know that wetlands are actually reducing, are actually suffering. For a company like Danone, as a private sector, and an historical actor of mineral water, it's very critical that great attention is taken by all stakeholders, public and private, working together to preserve and restore wetlands. For us, this journey started 25 years ago, in 98, where we signed our partnership with Ramsar. And since then, we have built scientific expertise. We have launched the fund uh, for nature in 2008, which became then the livelihood fund, where together with the IUCN, Danon has worked restoring hundreds of hectares of degraded coastal wetlands. We also developed expertise with Evian, uh, being the first uh, actual natural mineral water in Plivium, with this catchment area recognized as a wetland 
of inter international exper uh, importance uh, under the Ramsar Convention. And that's the same in Argentina with Villa Vicencio Reserve, who is preserving more than 600 fauna and flora species. Our long-standing partnership is for me testifying that we cannot act alone. We have many solutions in our hands, many role models, many experiences to be replicated. But alone, they don't work. They don't have impact. So truly, I believe it's time to accelerate working together public and private sector, global experiences and local experiences. And I would say that this Avion special price is just a small piece of this doing more together. Wetland preservation is only possible thanks to a network, a network of determined actors, as tonight award is, who are fighting around the world in different places, from Japan to Peru, from Angola to France, every day to preserve wetlands and their biodiversity, and therefore to preserve life. So I think it's now time to look and to uh, shine the light through a short video on the actually on the take it work of this year winners of the category of young of the wetland champion award and we are very honored to have with us today a senora fernanda samuel national coordinator of mangrove protection restoration of angola video please <laughs> Os mangás em Angola enfrentam grandes desafios, como a poluição e a ocupação de ecossistema para a construção de infraestruturas. As comunidades não tinham voz é, quando degradava-se esse ecossistema. A ver os mangás em Angola totalmente degradados, nos inspiramos pela ação de Wangari Matai, não é na restauração dos ecossistemas e pela criação do movimento de milhares de voluntários para ajudar nesta restauração. E junto conseguimos é, recolher mais de 800 toneladas de, de resíduos sólidos, conseguimos plantar um milhão de mangás. Portanto, o resultado é, desta nossa ação inspirou, obviamente, os destruidores dos mangás. O nosso percurso na proteção e conservação dos mangás em Angola não foi fácil. Chegamos a ser perseguidos, é, chegamos a perder os nossos empregos, fomos ameaçados de morte, chegamos às vezes a mudar de província, mas ainda assim não paramos, continuamos a agir. A restauração dos mangás permitiu devolver a zona de subsistência das comunidades ah, de pescadores, permitiu ah, o regresso da biodiversidade marinha, a destacar aqui várias aves eh, migratórias, em particular os flamingos, que representam o símbolo da identidade da nossa cidade natal, Lubito. Ao ser selecionada pela Convenção de Ramsá, como a jovem eh, campeã para a conservação das zonas úmidas, é uma honra, sinto-me inspirada, é como se fosse uma energia para continuarmos a fazermos mais, a agirmos mais pela conservação e proteção dos mangás em Angola. Now it gives me great pleasure to welcome onto the stage Fernanda Samuel, recipient of the 2022 Ramsar Convention Award for Young Wetland Champions. I 
I don't speak English very well, but I will try. Cordial greeting to all present. Uh, first of all, we address our sincere analogy to the Hamsa Convention for the recognition of our work in defense of the wetland in Angola, which is why I was elected as one on the young champion for the conservation of wetland. Secondly, we thank the entire Angolan nation and the, the international institution that joined our association, Ochiva, to stop the destruction of mangrove in Angola, which made it possible to save this important ecosystem for migratory birds, as well as for the survival of various aquatic species and for the containment of natural calamity, such as floods and inund inundation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And now the award for wise use. Managing wetlands wisely and using them for sustainability conserves and maintains their health, which is why the principle of wise use lies at the very heart of the Convention on Wetlands. The Ramsar Wetland Convention Award for Wetland Wise Use seeks to recognize significant contributions to the long-term sustainable use of wetlands. Here's our winner's story. ま、ここはですね、ガンが住む2つのものが必要で、夜安全に休むことができる年暮らとね、なるまと、それから餌を食べ物を取ることができる田んぼが必要だ。今の農業のやり方っていうのは、え、稲の刈り取りがあったら冬や田んぼを乾かしておく。それでどういうことをしたかというと、で、冬に水を張る田んぼを見てもらって、そういう風にして、それを見た農家の人が考えを変えて、え
and rice paddies and supporting the conservation of migratory birds. Welcome. I would like to express my gratitude to everyone involved in receiving the, the Honorable Award, the Ramsar Prize. I was very surprised when I first heard the, the, that news. Then I oh, 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 I felt great joy. The moreover, the Wise Youth Award uh, is a very special to me. While my favorite Aleutian cackling goose were all restored, and the important rice paddy habitat is uh, improved, I was also able to witness the adoption of the rice, rice paddy resolution 1031, which showed the importance of the or rich biodiversity in rice paddy as wetlands. During the half of the century of our effort, my hair turned from black to gray or white. And it was a, not an easy way to reach the, this point. Every time we faced with challenging situation, we overcome it of sharing our wisdom with various group of the, uh, colleagues who share my dreams. I'd like to share the joy of the receiving the uh, award with my friends who made my dreams come true and with my loving kids. Thank you very much. innovation, something new, a different way, a new method, innovation. Innovative approaches provide us creative and alternative pathways to solve otherwise complex problems, which is why the Ramsar Wetland Conservation Award for Wetland Innovation seeks to recognize contributions to the conservation and wise use of wetlands through an innovative technique or approach. Here is our winner's story. Es una ciudad principalmente desértica, es una ciudad compleja, donde tenemos diferentes tipos de ecosistemas. Pantanos de Villa es justamente una isla verde en el centro de la ciudad. Somos un hábitat que acoge a las aves, a las aves migratorias. Cuando iniciamos la gestión en los pantanos de Villa, falta una voz muy importante, que es justamente la de los jóvenes y de los niños. Los niños tienen una lectura muy simple y sencilla de la realidad y a veces nos hacen dar cuenta de cosas obvias que los adultos hemos complejizado demasiado. Así nació el Consejo de los Niños. Una de las primeras observaciones de los niños de la primera promoción fue el ruido, el ruido ambiental, porque identificaron como parte del proceso de aprendizaje que las aves son muy sensibles a diferentes variables ambientales, entre ellas el ruido urbano. Los niños justamente propusieron hacer un video donde los niños personificaban a las aves. Este video se subió a las redes sociales de los pantanos de Villa y tiene casi cerca de 600.000 reproducciones ya. Eh, es un video muy bonito que nos ayuda a sensibilizar siempre, no solamente a otros niños, sino también a los adultos, sobre el impacto que tiene el ruido urbano en el ecosistema. Un día uno de los niños me dijo, quiero venir con mi abuelita al humedal. Y me dijo, pero ella no puede entrar porque ella está con silla de ruedas. 
En ese momento los pantanos de Villa, si bien tenía un poco de accesibilidad, caminos establecidos, claramente no era inclusiva, no estaba lista para que una persona con silla de ruedas pudiera ingresar. Y entonces, gracias a esta mirada de este niño, nos pusimos en la marcha y en el trabajo para hacer una ruta accesible que permitiera que una persona en silla de ruedas o con cualquier otro tipo de discapacidad pudiera ingresar a los pantanos y disfrutar del entorno bajo las condiciones apropiadas. Cuando estuvo la convocatoria de los premios Ramsar, vimos con mucha ilusión poder compartir no solamente la iniciativa de los niños guardianes, sino también las otras buenas prácticas que hemos podido desarrollar en eh, Provilla. El premio para nosotros fue una alegría doble, porque además venía con unos fondos económicos que van a ser destinados justamente a la construcción de un refugio para los niños guardianes de los pantanos de Villa. Niños y niñas guardianes. <risa> To present the award, please welcome Dr. Wu Yimen, our new COP14 Vice President, um, Alternate President. And finally, Ms. Jimena Giraldo, recipient of the 2022 Award for Wetland Innovation for her contributions to ensure that the voice of children as guardians of the Pantanos de Villa wetland is recognized. On behalf of the Guardian Children of Pantanos de Villa, I want to thank you for valuing the voice and participation of children in building another planet. Lima, the capital of Peru, is the second most populated desert city in the world and has the privilege of having a wetland in the middle of an urban area. However, for many years, the city grew without considering the care and protection of the ecosystem. When the former mayor, Jorge Muñoz, began his administration in 2018, he had the dream that this wetland would be a space loved by all the Lima residents. It was then that we identified that in the governance of the wetland, a very important voice was missing, the children who were also its main visitors. For this reason, the Municipality Authority of Pantanos de Villa, Provilla, included children in the governing system and as advisors of the board under the premise that a city that is good for children is good for everyone. Currently, there are about 90 guardians of Pantanos de Villa who have gone through the experience of being strategic actors in the government of their city. With their creativity and joy, they make important contributions to improve the management of the wetland and are part of Provilla's CEPA plan. The award has been a great joy for them because they hope their experience will be replicated and the voice of children will be heard around the world. I want to finish by thanking Ramsar Convention for giving us the opportunity to share our story, Mayor Jorge Munoz for his commitment to the children, and the wonderful technical team of Provilla, led by my Gandhi Aldave, who do a tremendous job in caring for the wetland and ensuring its sustainability. Thank you very much. This year, in addition to three main award categories, the selection committee decided to grant a merit award. The merit award recognizes individuals or institutions because of their long-term contribution or commitment to the conservation and wise use of wetlands and to the convention's principles. Here is our awardee's story. La baie de Somme, c'est un espace de 7500 hectares et c'est un espace absolument fantastique au point de vue de la nature. Mon arrière-grand-père était, était maire d'Abbeville, mon père était député dans le Vimeux, euh, j'ai moi-même été député et sénateur sur ces territoires-là, donc euh, il y a au moins 5 ou 6 générations, autant que je le sache, euh, qui vivaient là et qui étaient, euh, qui étaient de souche et qui avaient des responsabilités publiques aussi. Il y a trois désignations Ramsar pour la Somme. La baie a été désignée en premier. On s'est dit, euh, 
c'est une opportunité formidable d'avoir la baie qui devient Ramsar parce qu'on va la préserver, etc. La vallée de la Somme, ça a été plus compliqué parce que, quand j'ai dit, il faut compléter l'inscription de, de, de la baie par l'inscription de la vallée, certains ont cru que j'avais des visions politiciennes. Aujourd'hui, les gens ont compris que c'était important. Et puis il y a Amiens, maintenant, qui est venu rejoindre euh, le, les, les deux éléments euh, principaux euh, fluides. Amiens, parce qu'il y avait une opportunité avec euh, les, les ortillonnages qui sont quelque chose de tout à fait exceptionnel aussi. Les terres d'eau sont des terres d'avenir. Les zones humides sont des terres d'avenir. Le rapport... Euh, que le Premier ministre Édouard euh, Philippe avait commandé à Frédéric Tuftel et moi-même euh, sur l'avenir des zones humides en France, a permis d'améliorer un certain nombre de réglementations, a permis à, à l'administration de prendre conscience que c'était un vrai sujet, euh, il a permis de changer la législation sur un certain nombre de, de sujets, de développer la relation entre les agences de l'eau, qui étaient des agences qui fournissent l'eau, euh, mais qui ne pr se préoccupaient peut-être pas assez de l'origine de l'endroit où vient l'eau. Depuis toutes ces années, euh, j'ai été très convaincu par, euh, par une chose d'abord, c'est que euh, Ramsar, c'est une convention euh, de gestion, ce n'est pas une convention d'interdit euh, euh, administratif. Et puis la deuxième chose, euh, c'est que euh, les pertes de biodiversité dont on parle beaucoup aujourd'hui, euh, certains d'entre nous les ressentions déjà depuis un moment et on était assez convaincus les uns et les autres qu'il fallait faire quelque chose. Recevoir ce prix euh, Ramsar pour le mérite, ça m'a stupéfait. Ah, je suis hein, euh, à la fois ému, fier euh, et puis heureux de partager avec mes collègues. To present the Emerit Award, please welcome Dr. Musanda Mumba, our new Secretary General. And distinguished delegates, uh, please welcome onto the stage Senator Jerome Vignon, recipient of the 2022 Merit Award for his dedicated and long-term contributions. I'm going to be speaking in French uh, just for this evening. As you can imagine, I'm very moved. This is a, a big moment for me, for my family, for Ramsar, for Ramsar France, which I helped to, to create about 30 years ago. You saw my where my roots are. You saw the river and you saw the uh, Somme Bay. I was born there. My family before me was born there. And that uh, area is a combination of uh, everything that's uh, rich about uh, the sea, fresh water, salt water. You have uh, prairie marshes. Uh, that filled my childhood, represents my family life. Local elected officials and uh, national elected officials, I was lucky enough to be mayor, a regional representative and a senator. I've been, I was 40 years a politician, makes us uh, become aware of Luke Hoffman's words. Uh, he, who in fact, um, was at the initiative of uh, signing of the Ramsar uh, Convention in 1971. If he hadn't been here, things would have gone very differently, perhaps. He wrote three uh, phrases. They're very beautiful. We have to reinforce collective uh, activities. We have to foment uh, the commitment of men and women so that uh, wetlands remain a vital area, this vital link to vital diversity. When you read this, you've understood everything. Uh, now we need to work. Uh, it is this call, 
Luke Hoffman's call that I responded to by taking the initiative along with a few colleagues at the time to create Ramsar France. 32 sites were listed at the time. In 12 years time, we went to 50 some sites uh, and we're now preparing three or four more. Every year, we're very lucky and I call on you to do the same thing in your countries. If you don't do it yet, uh, we can help you do it. We need you to create events around uh, the World Wetland Day in February. If everyone does the same type of events organization, you could imagine how much visibility the Ramsar Convention would get throughout the world. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Luke Hoffman. Thank you very much to all of you. I am very moved. Um, uh, this is, in fact, uh, proof of friendship with the Ramsar Convention. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to the Secretary General. Wow, wow. I saw those videos and I was just, I'm so emotional. Because 26 years ago, in a COP like this in Brisbane, there was an agreement by contracting parties, yourselves, that we needed such an award. An award, the Ramsar Wetland Conservation Award, that recognized the ordinary people among us just that do the most extraordinary, endangering their lives and just going out of their way. And this vision that was articulated by Henri, wonderful to recognize and honor these individuals, organizations contributing to what we talk about here every other COP. It's wonderful to see these awards and just really meet these incredible individuals. Every single one of them is a worthy winner. They have inspired us, have they not? <laughs> Through their stories, we heard and we're reminded that wetland action on the ground is possible and it can be realized. And what's exciting, we saw what we'd been talking about this morning, the element of wise use, restoration, wetland conservation, biodiversity manifest in those stories today and in these individuals. And what I'm excited about is coming in this role and realizing just as humanity that we can do this. And with this convention that is really, really a pragmatic and practical and one that focuses on nature, we saw the implications of droughts, changes, climate change, and all these issues that affect us in nature. Our winners really demonstrate something very special. They demonstrate the power to bring back that we could potentially would have lost. Fernanda, muito obrigada. You did such beautiful work to the community that you've mobilized as a young person in Angola, restoring mangroves, bringing back the flamingos, risking your life. Just incredible. Arigato. Gozai Masu. Mr. Masayuki Karuchu. You remind us of the power of just bringing back these techniques, indigenous and traditional techniques to restore that beautiful wetland in those rice paddies. And we forget, we have rice every day, but we forget the individuals that make it possible. Sustaining livelihoods and migratory species alike. Jimena, Giraldo, muchas gracias. I love Lima, but I never even realized that there was a wetland in that city to really show the role of children. And I felt your emotion about why we need to empower. We're talking about youth and children just this afternoon. That beautiful wetland of Pantanas Pavia. Senator Vigno, merci infiniment. You stand as a giant in your own community, really bringing together and contributing to the legacy of wetlands 
and the Ramsar France Association. I'm just so in awe, in awe of all of you and the work that you've done. Henri Bruxelles, on behalf of the convention, I just want to say merci. Because this comes full circle. When I joined the convention in 1998, that's when the relationship with Danone started. And so it's so special for me to be here today to be offering this Avian Special Prize really to these award winners and really for your commitment to the convention and to the dream and ambition of wetland ecosystems. I'm deeply grateful for the support that you provide to the Secretariat and the convention as a whole. I just want to say, please join me again in giving a big, big round of applause to these amazing individuals that we've honored today. Thank you.